What's going on everybody? I'm going to do a quick video, uh, another video on the Altel BT609. I will not try to take up much of your time as I always say in these videos. Try to keep them as short as possible. I know your time is valuable. Um, so I wanted to do the video on the diagnostic side of the BT609 just in case you were interested seeing uh you know what it's capable of i'm not going to go too in depth on it um, but i wanted to show you uh how fast or s how slow it is so i don't have it hooked up to the car this is my personal vehicle 2006 honda ridgeline uh here's the vci so like i said if you didn't know this uh has a light in it so you can find the dlc connector i just happen to know whoops backwards I just happen to know where this one is because I work on it, obviously. Uh, so you hear the beep, the audible beep in there. It tells you uh, when the DLC is plugged in and it's connected, it's got power, which is cool. Um, and then down here at the VCI, there's a red X, but once it's connected, it'll say, it'll show the green check mark. And there we go. We're connected. Actually, it says BT for Bluetooth. Um, and it has a second audible beep once it's connected. So. We can go auto detect here. Whoops, knocked over my light. So this is a good, cause I, I hooked it up earlier and this is the third time I've tried to record this video, unfortunately. Um, but the second time I recorded it, it had already had the information previously in here. So it hooked up a lot faster, but I wanted to, you guys to have a real world idea of sometimes how long it takes. So um, <clears throat> this is auto detecting. I don't, I assume it's just checking for um, modules. So, and I apologize, it's freezing in the garage. Uh, I didn't have any appointments today. We have a baby coming on the way. So I haven't scheduled too much here recently just to do that. And I'm gonna be taking some time off to spend time with the family and the new baby. So I didn't turn on the heat. So the garage is cold. So anyways, um, so what I would like to say about this scan tool is, um, so if you watch a video, Cody's Auto Diagnostics, if you follow him, um, he did a video, I think about a year ago on scan tools. I think the video title is scan tool addiction. And he talks about, you know, can you have too many scan tools and this, that, and the other. And, uh, you know, a question that he gets, uh, and a question that I get a lot as well, um, is what's the best scan tool to buy. And he says in there one you can afford, which I agree with wholeheartedly buy something you can afford. So this could be a good, just, uh, code checker and scan tool to at least get PIDs and stuff like that. Um, but as far as like a day-to-day -day use scan tool, I don't think it'd be good for that, at least not in my opinion. Um, it's nice that it's on here. Um, I primarily use it for the battery test, uh, obviously, because that's what it's designed for. Um, uh, but you know, the, the diagnostic side of things is cool as well. Or diagnostic side of things is cool as well. Um, if you watched the first video I did on this, I do a battery test on every single vehicle that comes through the door, or at least 99.9% .9 of them. Um, so I thought, well, this would be great to do a battery test while the customer brings the car in as well as be able to, if they have a check engine light or ABS light, whatever, um, I can scan that as well while I've got it already hooked up and save myself from having to disconnect this, then reconnect either my IM608 or my Varus Edge and having to reconnect and all that stuff. So, you know, it's a good addition to it. But I won't use it as my primary, uh, oh, oh my gosh, I'm goofy. All right, so, and that didn't take any longer because the key was off. <laughs> but I did have the key off, that's my fault. Uh, so let's do that again. So unfortunately, it's going to have to do it again. So I don't know if I'll wait for that. All right, well, let's not wait for that. So you guys saw that's it, whether keys on or keys off, that's actually the last time how long it took. So that'll actually give me a good, I'm going to put you on the, the stand here. And what I'm going to do is show you, so you can also do manual input and you can actually scan it. So you go here and click on this, maybe, all right. And then there's two things here. I think this is for the text. And then this here button's for the barcode. So try to stay out of the picture so you can actually. So that's how fast it is on the barcode. So we've got that hooked up. So we just click OK, OK, unknown model, model vehicle. That's because it added an I for some reason. I'm not sure why it added an I, 
but whatever. Did that to me earlier. So, okay. Like I said, this is the third time I've tried to add this. So for some apparent reason, the VIN has an eye. So I'll have to look into that a little bit deeper. Um, but at least that gives you a good idea. So when you do an auto detect, at least on this Honda particular one, um, that one through 11 check, uh, when it's scanning, that was normal. We key on, key off. That's how long it took when I had the key on when I did the first video. So, um, I didn't want to bore you guys and run through that again. So I thought, well, what a perfect opportunity to show you the barcode. So it'll read barcode. It'll actually read the VIN too, as well, just the number itself. Uh, so if your vehicle doesn't particularly have a barcode, all right, so I'm gonna pull you off here again. Sorry for all the phone movement. So put you back up here, USA. So this is just to give you guys an idea of how long it takes. So yes, we know that's a 2006 Ridgeline and then it's gonna connect and then we'll do, we're gonna do control module. We're not gonna do a full system DTC scan. That does take a long time on most scan tools anyways. Um, so on this one, a little longer, you know, this is a tablet, as you can see, it's not very big. So obviously it's not going to have the same speed as like a full scan tool. So we'll go control unit. I do have a check engine light. So we're going to check that. I know what the code is. I've known what the code is. I just have to actually take the time to fix it. It's just a PO 128. So, but like I said, it's just to show you, whoops, I hate that. It keeps coming out of focus. This is just to show you the length of time. So what I would do if this were me and I bought this and I was using this as my scan tool as well, um, just to check codes and stuff all the time as like a regular basis thing, um, if you weren't just doing a battery test, is I would be doing like an inspection while this is running. That way I'm not wasting time. I know when I was at the dealer, I bought my own scan tools as well. Um, at that time I had a, I started with a Modus Edge, then worked my, I actually started with the old Altel um, Maxi DOS D something 908 or something like I can't remember it's been a long time and then I went to the Maxisys Mini um, and then I went to a Modus Edge and I traded the Modus Edge in for a Varus Edge um, and that's what I use primarily now is the Varus Edge and then like I said I have the IM608 which is Altel's a locksmith level scan tool for doing keys and such um, so anyway so uh, you know if I was going to have this, I would be doing an inspection it, when I was at the dealer. I would be doing all of this while walking around looking at the vehicle, checking brakes, checking tires. That way I'm not wasting time. Obviously, time is money in this business. So there's the code. You saw, you know, that's the time it took. You know, you can check that. But it does. this does not have any bi-directional control, so you're not doing anything like that. We can go to live data. Um, I can show you that real quick. Um, it does print. You can print. We did download an extra, um, so as you can see, it's fired up, so that way you can see the live data. Um, it, it does print. We downloaded an extra app to do it differently versus go through, I forget what the name of it is, but you download this, uh, this add-on to your computer and then it links to that. PC Link is what it's called. Um, so I called Altel and they told me about this app that I could hook directly to my printer, which is Wi-Fi. Now I email all of the reports to customers, which makes it a lot easier, but you can print as well. We did have issues with this particular one uh, hooking up with the Wi-Fi. It would go to print and then it would say it's loading and then stop about halfway. So he was sending that to um, their uh, tech department and he was going to let me know uh, when they're coming out and see if that's a problem with their end of it, which sounds like it was. Um, but my AM608 worked perfectly with that. So yeah, so there's your live data and go back and then, you know, we can go to freeze frame data. So, yeah, you know, there's obviously no function controls in there. Uh, so you don't have any uh, bi-directional controls in there or anything. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much that. I'm not going to go in any further detail. If you want to know the, if you want to see the battery side of things, the battery testing and starter testing and all that side of things, you can go to um, my last video on this and I go walk through and show you how it's hooked up and unboxing and what comes in the package and stuff. So I like this as well. It lets you know, hey, don't forget your VCI. So that way you're not having to buy another one of these bad boys. So keep that in mind as well. That's really cool. So yeah, so that's it, you guys. I won't take up any more of your time. Like I said, this is just a walkthrough of the diagnostic side. Like this is a 2006 Honda Ridgeline. I have hooked it up to a couple other vehicles for the diagnostic side as well. 
um, and some vehicles are faster than others. Um, if you if you've used scan, bleh, sorry, I can't talk. If you have used scan tools before, you know some vehicles are faster than others with certain vehicles or for certain scan tools. Wow, I can't talk. Must be because it's freezing. Uh, the Midwest is getting slammed right now with cold weather and snow. I'm in Ohio, so we've had like 20 something inches of snow within like the last couple weeks, uh, and we keep getting more. And then we got like two inches of Sorry, I'm jingling my keys around. We got like two inches of freezing rain as well. So like I said, I didn't turn the heat on. So anyways, I appreciate all the love, you guys. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the likes, um, the subscriptions. It's amazing. So if you like these videos, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm going to continue to do these videos uh, as regular as possible. I'm trying to do at least a couple a week. Um, obviously, time range and time-wise, that's going to change and adjust throughout time. But I'm going to do my best. I want you guys to have the information so that way when you go to buy stuff like this, uh, you know what you're getting into and you can have as much information as possible. Have an awesome day, you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love. Take it easy. Bye.